Well, hey there, welcome back to my channel. I apologize for going MIA again for a hot minute, but I have been rather busy, and with being busy, I was also invited to the annual Bunny Ball in San Diego. So I'm really excited that is this coming Saturday, April 20th. The Bunny Ball is to help benefit children who are sick and in need. They do raffle off prizes, take donations. We all also donate bunnies for the children who are sick and who are in need. So I am really excited to be participating in the event this year. Um, I am hoping that I run into a lot of people I know because I'm going alone. So this ought to be interesting, but I wanted your help figuring out what to wear. Honestly, I'm like, this looks good. Let's just go with this. Um, this is from Amazon, by the way. I'm like, my butt looks fabulous. Like, no joke. I've only worn this dress in public once. And the guy <laughs> literally ran down the street to get my number to ask me out and ended up telling me on our date that it was because my butt looked so good in this dress. So, <laughs> thanks to this dress for getting me that date. So, uh, yeah, now we're gonna rummage through my closet and see what else I've got and see if there is a dress that would better suit this black tie event. This is a little too casual for the black tie event, but it does look good, doesn't it? So, I do have a dress that's very similar in color. Um, I might pick that just because I like it, but we've got some other options. I am gonna try to pick a color because I know that I always wear black to everything. I really like wearing black. It's so slimming and so flattering, but this is, the bunny ball. And the bunny ball, I've seen pictures, I've seen videos, girls are wearing orange, they're wearing pink, they're wearing lavender, they're wearing blue. It is all colors of the rainbow. It's very spring themed. So I don't know if I should go wearing black and be the odd one out, or if I should just go along with the crowd and wear some color. You're gonna help me decide. This dress is fucking ridiculous. What was I thinking when I bought this? Somebody tell me, please. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's long and it's got a bit of a, got a, bit of a trying. <laughs> Size so British. So yes, it's a it's a very long, beautiful dress. It's got a train in the whole nine yards, but oof, va va boom. Okay. I was a little bit thinner when I bought this, so I don't know quite how it fits now. But but I don't know, I think it looks pretty good. I suppose I can't really give you like a solid assessment or get a solid assessment on this dress since you can't really see the bottom of it. But there isn't really a way to like, I can't really back up the whole way to show you, but overall, like, what do you think? Like nobody's, nobody's hanging out that shouldn't be hanging out, I don't think. But I had to put pasties on for the last dress and I just kept them on in case there's another dress I try on that you can remotely see through. Um, so you can kind of see from here. Pasty so big, like I just need them for the areola and the nipple. I don't need them for my entire boob. Okay, so what are we thinking? Do we like this? <laughs> I think it's really pretty. It's definitely spring colored. It's it's light colored. <sighs> so weird. It looks like a really slutty Cinderella. But who knows? Maybe I'll find my Prince Charming. I don't know. Like, I don't know my butt looks really good in this dress. I definitely feel like that's the upsell for me on this one. Um, am I thin enough to wear this one right now? I think I am, but then I'm always like, you can see my belly button. Does that mean the dress is too tight and I'm too chunky to wear this? I don't know. And I know that if I do wear this, I'm gonna be kicking my dress like all night long. I'm gonna have to like carry the back of it everywhere I go, which I mean, doesn't really bother me. I know it's gonna get dirty and I'm gonna have to go get it dry cleaned. But I mean, overall, I really like it. And the cut of it, I don't know, like from this far away, cause I can see myself, it's, um, it's giving like 1930s. Oh, I got it, The Rocketeer. Did anybody see The Rocketeer with Jennifer Connelly? <sighs> Girl, I mean, straight as the day is long, but Jennifer Connelly and The Rocketeer. Oh, <laughs> that white dress is just, is giving titties. So this blue dress, is to me giving Jennifer Connelly titties. But her, like, it had like cap sleeves on her dress though and it clearly didn't go down as far because let's face it, that was a Disney movie. And hers wasn't backless. So there are some like differences there obviously, but it's, I think the cut of it very much has that sort of mermaid flow to it. Or, um, ooh, Kim Basinger in LA Confidential. I would be okay with the comparison if anybody agrees. Um, but yeah, point is, I do like this dress actually a lot more than I thought that I would. 
Maybe that's why I bought it, because I was like, when I put this on, I was like, who thought this was a good idea? Where the hell are you gonna wear a blue dress unless you're like a bridesmaid in somebody's wedding? But this is not giving bridesmaids, so that's not gonna happen. So this gives me an excuse to wear this dress. I don't know, I'm giving way too much of an explanation on this particular dress, so I'm already like leaning towards this must be the one, but we shall see. We've got a couple more dresses to try on. I still want your valid opinion. <sighs> Here we go. My boobs are messed up. Good. Zip up, up, damn you. I'm trying. It is so hard to do things by yourself. Fuck. All right, let's see as it gets. This one I have worn before. And I think I nearly broke a nail trying to get into this thing. So this one I wore to the 2018 or 2019 Babes in Twilight charity event. Um, it's like a December Christmas event in LA. I do not attend those anymore, but I've kept the dress because I really like this dress. It's giving either Pretty Woman, if I had like the white gloves on, or Jessica Rabbit, because it's red and it had a slit in it, right? Um, I cannot zip it up any further by myself. So um, if I had assistance, it probably would fit a little bit better, but I don't know. I mean, it's cute. I like it. I feel like there's something missing though. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Pretty. I don't have nearly as much to say about this dress as I do the other one though. And I don't feel like this is as flattering as it used to be. I don't know if it ever was, but I don't know. And this, I don't know, this fabric just isn't, it feels cheap to be honest with you. And well, this dress costs like half as much as the other one. So yeah, it probably is a bit cheaper. Oh, but this one is easier to manage. It doesn't have, it's long, but it doesn't have a super long train like the other one. So I can actually walk around in this one a little bit easier, I think. This could be the choice because I'm already color coordinated, but the blue one is long enough to where you probably won't really see my toes much anyway, so it doesn't matter. But I don't know. What are your thoughts? I mean, somebody's gonna have to help me out here with this zipper thing though. There's the dilemma. So these are the dresses I have in color to choose from. I think from here on out, all the dresses I have left to choose from are black. So, <laughs> I'm gonna laugh if we collectively like pick the black one or that black one or the black with the mesh because Me wearing a color just feels strange And I don't know what it is about red. I love This dress I really do because I love pretty woman and it reminds me of her dress. That's why I bought this one but I think I still have that weird negative connotation or association with the color red I'm not gonna repeat what it is because I don't need to further put it out into the universe but if you have like an old school person in your family, like old school grandma, old school mom, old school auntie or aunt, whatever you want to call them, like there is some female in your family that has like, I don't know if you call it internalized misogyny or whatever, but they have like a certain association with the color red that I'm like, I don't know if I want to show up somewhere alone wearing the color red. So um, I am going to go try another dress. <laughs> well, this dress, I have had in my closet since, what was that, New Year's 2021, right? Going into 2022, if I remember correctly. I bought this dress to go to like a black tie sort of New Year's party. And I ended up deciding to stay home and watch the Twilight Zone Marathon. <laughs> so this beautiful dress has just been sitting in my closet. Um, I was a bit thicker when I bought it and I would probably have to go get this tailored like today and hope they could have it in time. It's really, really pretty and I think it's pretty flattering. However, you can probably tell because it's sheer, like extremely sheer, there's um, a bodysuit like attached to it underneath. But it's like granny panty status back here. Like that's not cute. So I probably would have to get that fitted. I wouldn't like have them turn it into a thong or anything, but it's really baggy and just doesn't fit right. It's also extremely long for me. Like even if I put on my, what is that? Seven inch heels, they probably, it still probably would be dragging on the ground a little bit and I don't want to like trip on it or get it caught on my heels. So regardless of whether or not we choose this one, I'm probably going to go get it tailored today or like drop it off to get tailored, hoping it will be done by the end of the week just to make sure that if we do decide on this one, I've got this dress to wear. But see, if there's just so much extra fabric to this because um, I'm only 5'7", and this dress is made for somebody who's like six feet and like 100 pounds soaking wet. I like it though, I like the illusion, but 
is this okay for the black tie charity event? Does this look too cheap and sleazy for a black tie charity event or does it still look classy enough? I don't know. Why is it that I just have like hoochie looking prom dresses? I don't have like gowns. My girlfriend Kelly is going and she's like, said something about it's like a, a tulle ball gown with like a cute like crop sort of situation. I think it has like sequins on or something. Honestly, from the sounds of it, it's one of those like two piece, really cute like prom dresses that we were getting in like 2006. <laughs> um, so yeah, oh, or like the dress in 10 Things I Hate About You that the little sister wears. It's like a cute crop top with like the tulle skirt. That's what it sounds like. And I think hers is Barbie pink. And I have a feeling there's gonna be lots and lots of Barbie pink this year because of the movie Barbie. Could you tell I'm not a fan? So yeah, this is the first black or blackish option. We'll see how that goes. Um, I am gonna go see if there's any other dresses actually. Those might be the only ones. Oh no, wait, there is another. I wore it to my friend's wedding in, when was that, August, September? So let me go snag that one because that one, I just, I feel like a movie star in that dress, but same situation as the beautiful blue one. It's got a really long train on it. And I remember when I wore it to my friend's wedding, it was kind of pain in the ass, but it looked really good. So I'm going to go try that one on. And then, then we can choose which dress I'm going to wear to this charity event. All right, I'm going to try not to kung fu fight this dress right now, but as you can see, it has, Batman, it has a long train. Like the, the blue one has a train, um, but this is the black dress. This dress obviously is not blacklist like, blacklist, backlist like the blue one. Um, it doesn't have a scrunch butt either, but I think it's pretty flattering from the front and the back. Sweetheart neckline. Um, I had it taken in a little bit so that it fit my waist better, but I just don't, I don't know if, if it's flattering or not, if it makes me look thin or if because there's so much fabric, it makes me look thicker and heavier than I am. I don't know. I do feel like I have to readjust my boobs in this dress a lot, but they're still in there. Like um, I can jump up and down and they're not going to go anywhere. So I feel pretty safe and secure in this dress. I think it looks pretty classy. Maybe with some opera style gloves. Who knows? Um, I don't know. I like this one because I feel like it's almost like Oscars worthy to a degree. Point is the dress doesn't look slutty. So I don't know. This might be the one that I choose just because it looks classy. The blue one looks really fun. And I know there's gonna be a lot of people there in fun colors and almost like costumes and cute outfits, but I don't know, like it's just, it's not in me. And I really just wanna to go to help to support the charity. I really hope that we're able to raise enough for these kids. I mean, I'm sure anything helps, but I do have a couple of subscribers on my OnlyFans and a couple of followers on my Instagram who have messaged me because I've been advertising this. And they said that they donated in my name, which you do not have to do. I greatly appreciate if you want to donate at all, that would be wonderful. Um, I am donating online as well as bringing in, of course, a stuffed bunny for the children, but that is the plan. So only got a few days to figure this out. If you could, you know, just comment below, let me know which dress you like the best. Uh, number one would be the blue dress. Number two would be the red dress. Number three would be, let's call it the sheer dress. And number four would be the classic black. So yeah, I'll let you guys know what I decide. If we all <laughs> end up picking the sheer dress, I will let you know if they're able to get it done in time. Um, so yeah, if they don't get it done in time, you guys may have to help me with a last minute decision between the other three that are left to choose from. So thanks so much for watching. I hope that you look forward to the next video. I promise you I will have another one out very soon.